I slugged with Vaseline under my eyes for 90 days. If you want to know if it's safe from an eye doctor's perspective, keep watching. everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, make sure to hit the like, follow, subscribe button so you get all these videos as soon as I make them. Okay. So I am of a certain maturity, 47, and with that wonderful age comes some of the not so great facets of being older, which is dry skin, wrinkles, and you know, all of that stuff. So I was really interested when I saw all over social media, especially TikTok, the viral trend of slugging. If you don't know, slugging is the application of Vaseline all over your face right before you go to sleep at night. And it's something that everybody talks about because they wake up and their skin is really dewy and moist and very soft and supple. So I wanted to investigate if slugging is good for the under eye area. That's an area that a lot of women struggle with and a lot of men too of a certain age because that skin is the thinnest skin in your body and it tends to crepe. It gets very dry and we lose moisture and all of the wonderful things associated with it as we get older. So what makes petroleum jelly or Vaseline as the most common brand name that we're used to hearing, what makes it so beneficial? The main thing is that it is an occlusive. It inhibits water loss by providing a barrier to the skin. In fact, this trans epidermal water loss is the key factor in a lot of different kinds of skin problems like eczema or really, really dry skin. Now, even the American Academy of Dermatology, they like petroleum jelly. They even have it on their website that Vaseline or petroleum jelly is great for dry skin, chapped lips, and eyelid skin. Petroleum jelly is a great option, especially if you have very sensitive skin or skin that's very dry or flaky. It's such a benign product, meaning there's just not a lot there that can cause an allergic reaction, which is really wonderful for those of us with sensitive skin. So this makes it really ideal for people with dry skin, with sensitive skin, and for people with dry eyes. Now, Again, this is something that happens to a lot of us, especially women, as we age, we start to get dry eyes. And if you look at Lacrolube ointment is an artificial tear ointment that we will often recommend to people, especially if they've got a lot of dryness overnight. I have a whole video on dry eyes at nighttime. You can check that out. And do you know what that artificial tear ointment is made up of? 42% mineral oil and 56.8% white petroleum, which is the same thing as petroleum jelly, AKA Vaseline. So that's what you're putting in your eyes. So very, very gentle and safe. But if you are someone who has acne prone skin or skin that tends to be a little bit on the oilier side, even under the eyelids is probably a place that you want to avoid because it can still trap dirt. Now, everyone says that Vaseline does not clog pores. That's what the dermatologists say. But a few of them have blogs where they have noticed in their patients that it causes something called milia. That's the white small cysts that appear on the skin. Let's get to my experience of 90 days, three months of slugging with petroleum jelly. So since petroleum jelly in itself doesn't really have any of the ingredients that's going to boost the moisture, it simply prevents moisture loss. This is something that's really good then in combination with a moisturizer. So that's how I chose to use it. Every night I would wash my face and then apply a really nice thick moisturizing cream. Things that you wanna look for in your moisturizing creams under your eye area is if you can incorporate something with some ceramides and something with some hyaluronic acid. That hyaluronic acid is great for those of us that are aging and have some drier skin. That crepiness is what drives me nuts. I don't like it. It makes concealer really crease when I am trying to use it in the morning. So that's what I was hoping to get rid of. So I tend to use either Neutrogena or CeraVe because they're great moisturizers moisturizing creams and they have the hyaluronic acid and the ceramides. And after I did that, 
then I would slug and I would apply the petroleum jelly right on top. One note, I personally really don't like using retinols under my eye because they exacerbate dry eyes. It causes the oil glands to drop out in your eyelids. A lot of ophthalmologists that specialize in dry eyes don't like retinol under your eyes, but I understand the reason that you want to use it because retinol is great for fine lines and wrinkles. So I get why dermatologists would recommend it, but it can be problematic, especially in someone who already has dry eyes, which I do. So I really tend to avoid the under eye area in terms of retinol especially true with slugging. You absolutely do not want to use a retinol and then put Vaseline on top of it. It's going to just magnify the effects because retinol can be very difficult for some skin types to handle. So if you do tend to put retinol on, don't do it before the Vaseline. That's just a no-no. All the dermatologists say so, and this ophthalmologist agrees. So what did I notice? Well, I think it's not a long-term effect, of course, with the Vaseline. I did notice during the mornings that my skin felt a lot more soft, for sure, a lot more supple, and less fine lines for the concealer to wreak its yucky little way into less crevices, less creeping. But I also developed something else. I developed milia. Now, I don't necessarily think it was from the petroleum jelly, though I do have two spots right underneath my eye. I did notice a third one that was further down on my face. So probably not related to the petroleum jelly. I've been using a different cleanser, so I suspect that's probably what it was and not from the Vaseline. So I did develop the milia and treatment. Actually, you don't want to touch them. You don't want to puncture them. Nobody's going to remove them surgically because they'll just go away after a few weeks. So I suspect mine will too. I didn't develop them until just recently in the last few weeks. So I didn't have them the first couple months that I was doing this. So I've certainly seen some improvement. I have no Botox on right now. All my Botox has left my face. So it's been a long time. So you can really see, I think that it's doing a good job, but I'm an N of one. So that's what I think, but it is something you don't need to worry if you get it in the eye, because as I mentioned, it's in the tear ointment that we prescribe people. So nothing dangerous about slugging around your eyes, using it on your eyelid skin, top or bottom. Use as much as you want. All right, guys, hope this video was helpful. If you are considering slugging around this eye area, if you have any other eye makeup help or eye health topics you would like for me to address, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to talk about them. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye-bye.